I'm not ready for this. I am not ready for this. I had to change into my God of War hoodie um, for the end. This is it, oh then. man! Beginning of the end. The end for Odin. And after that, oh please, a new let's beginning hope for the so. Atreus. I know. I'm just looking forward to seeing all the realms finally standing up to him. Elves and dwarves and hell itself. You are so certain they will unite. They have to. After everything they've been through. Let's hope they so. They have to. Don't they? Fingers crossed. Anything in Midgard you want to do? You know, while we still can. Freya and the others are still making preparations for the attack, so there's time. We will. <laughs> Doing our unfinished business afterwards because I'm sure that we can't do it afterwards. So. Brother, about the oracles of your land. Did you say they manipulated events? Did they have an agenda? I do not doubt they held their own interests first. But in my experience, they could be easily fooled by their own prophecies. Would that be a specific experience, brother? Hmm. I sought the Oracle for a oh, means oh, to break oh. my bondage to Ares. One priestess had visions that showed her Olympus would be brought to ruin by the God of War. Therefore, she helped me. Intending to undermine okay. Ares and protect her realm. She did not foresee that I would kill him and take his office. In the end, I proved her vision of doom correct. So the Oracle herself brought about the very future she hoped to avoid. I suppose we're in fine company at that. All the armies are probably gathered in their home realms, waiting for when we blow Gallarhorn. Guess I was kind of hoping to see some of them here. When all the realm towers open at oh, once, man. you'll see plenty, lad. Odin won't believe what's coming for him. No. Odin had lifetimes to prepare for this. Whatever grows deception, he heard the truth as tear. Do not underestimate him. Rousing speech, brother. Very inspirational. Oh, look at this. Wow. The Valkyries look different. Welcome back. Hildesfini informed me of your success. We've been planning accordingly. Wow. Well, what would Ragnarok be without Ragnarok? Who else agreed to join us? I see the Valkyries. Ooh. Better than that, they are reborn. Corporeal and uncorrupted, thanks to no small amount of Vanir magic. They're shield maidens now. Nice. And your brother? He came through. The elves called a truce to unite against Asgard. That gives us an advantage by air. Thank you. And with Thank Hell's you. army for a vanguard. What about Sindri? Oof. Will the dwarves fight? We haven't heard from him. But there's time yet. And I think we have what we need to clear a path for the Ragnarok beast. Well, when you say it like that, why worry at all? Sigrun! It's good to see you so... alive. Oh. Yes. I wasn't myself when last we met. I'm glad you're safe. My queen, the shield maidens will be divided among the forces breaching from Alfheim, Helheim, and here in Midgard. We stand ready. Kratos, Atreus, yeah. come here. Please excuse me. Oh. Good night, then. Freya, have you determined our path out of Asgard? If the towers are the way in, we count on them being the way out. And if they are not? Then we all know what we signed up for. Our plan is only missing one thing. Oh, man. A leader. That honor is yours. You have a righteous claim. And the respect of your troops. And you have faced this enemy before. I held his invading army to a stalemate. This is our invasion. A siege on his terrain. I want our most experienced wartime general in the field. I don't care about the honors. I don't care about the prophecies and champions. Look at them. They're all ready. I just ready. need us to win. Freya. I know what I'm asking. Just sleep on it. 
Okay. Here we are. Kratos, your tent is to the right, and Atreus, yours is Thank to the you. left. Mine? A young warrior needs his own space, don't you think? I do. Wow. Thanks. Sleep on what we spoke of. Let me know in the morning what you decide. <gasps> the realms. At war. It was this not mine? Yeah, okay. Get some rest. Excuse me. Oh, or not. May I have a moment with Mimir? Of course. I don't know what tomorrow brings, but if tonight is our last night, I'd like to spend it feeling something besides hate. Will you tell me one last silly story? Oh. There's nothing I'd like more. Except perhaps a dance. Yet do I may have lost a step. <laughs> do you respect love? I don't tell silly <laughs> stories. You only tell silly stories. <laughs> I can never argue with you. One last time. How is that comfortable, honestly? Can I sleep here tonight? story. If I fall asleep, promise you'll finish it tomorrow? Of course. Now, close your eyes. wood for his village. Every evening he bore the logs on his back and delivered them to his people. But the logs were heavy and he grew weaker as time went. And one day he threw down the logs as he could no longer bear their weight. And he, he called for death to come to him. And when death arrived,
I would be able to fall asleep when he would tell me a story. He's the only one who ever got my highbrow sense of humor. Damn fine woman she was. Apart from her taste in men, of course. She was a special woman. She wanted to protect people. She was here. She saw every step we took before we took it. Like she was always with us. Watching over us. Leading us home. Oh, there we go again. Does my request upset you? Is a natural part of life, my love. I wish only to be prepared for when my time comes. Mortals must do such things. I am glad to have you prepare with me. You are quiet? I have nothing to say. Well, say something. I enjoy hearing your voice. A funeral pyre. I would have chosen different. Oh? <laughs> in my land, we entomb our loved ones. You would have me trapped in the ground for eternity. I would have you close to me. How touching. My rotting corpse would bring you such comfort. Mm. You once tried to take charge of your ending, did you know? That was different. Oh, that was a story he yes. told. But not on purpose. He was telling. to better a future that will exist without me whenever that day comes for you and for our son. <sighs> we will always walk together, Kratos. You will always be a part of me. I will always be a part of you. And when you are gone, that a part of me dies as well. See? Do you feel your absence? No. <laughs> Culmination of love is grief. And yet we love, despite the inevitable. We open our hearts. When the pyre is spent, and you have gathered my ashes, spread them from the highest peak in all the realms. You will do this for me. To grieve deeply is to have loved fully. 
open your heart to the world as you have opened it to me, and you will find every reason to keep living in it. Oh, man. The music doesn't help either. <laughs> You outside, Father. Sir. fly into battle with you one more time, my queen. Me too. But not as your queen. As sisters. Are you ready? Yes. I will be your general. It will be an honor to fight alongside you, general. Aye, brother. I'll be right by your side. So, what are your orders? To the temple. Man, I can't stop. Oh. Going so well. <clears throat> oh my god, we're really going to do this. This story... Um, Hits me even more because I lost my mom too, so I can feel everything so much. Um, how would I say that? So hey, much General Kratos, I got deeper. I don't know. You go to war. Um, I understand the pain. Time to leave some hands. So this story is like close to home. I guess that's why I'm so emotional with this freaking game. My brother already told me. He already finished the game. He said to me, Oh, you Hello, are going to cry a lot. Well, thank you. I already am. Man. Let's upgrade everything we have. spear look like a toothpick. We cannot. And a little one? There's already. Mm. Know what you want? Y'all no, feel it. We, we, no. we need. Oh, we still have it? Okay. Uh, what was I thinking? Of course you got your armor all set. Just 